Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. In case you can't see, absolutely buzzing. The Blitzbox, against all odds, have beaten the All Black Sevens to get a spot in the semifinals this weekend and keep themselves in medal contention. Phenomenal for a team who was written off, and if I'm going to be brutally honest, from a former perspective, Probably shouldn't actually be there. Uh, coming third in the group, going through at the best place third after that incredible victory over Japan. They will now move on to the semifinals on Saturday, where a win will guarantee them an Olympic medal as they'll go into the gold medal match. And even a loss will give them a second opportunity of winning a medal if they were to go into the bronze medal match. It was like watching the Blitzbox of old in terms of that dogged defense, that stubbornness that you will not pass, you will not score. Phenomenal efforts. Two converted tries. We led by 14. You can see it right on the brink of, uh, of half time. Um, but uh, then the scoreless in the second half. Um, resolute defense. I mean, Christian Kovalov had like, almost literally on the, on the try line, pushing them back. Uh, that rain and tackle from Shilton van Veig. Um, to to rain, I think it was um, I think it was Moses Leo. No, in fact, I think it was actually uh, it could have been Leo Carter who we rained in to make that desperate tackle um, before making that turnover. So many big moments in that game to book ourselves a spot in the semi-finals. I mean, it look, it, it, to a certain degree, it's kind of paving over the track cracks, isn't it? I mean, it's not a side that's played well this season. It's not a side that was given a chance of getting into um, the the, the semi-finals, and yet, and yet. That's where they are. And it goes to show, and this is why I think it's been so frustrating watching this Blitzbox side, because it's never been a case of lack of talent or lack of players, for example, lack of experience. So it's been so weird watching them be so poor uh, and awful, given the fact that there is so much talent there. Um, but we finally, finally, finally saw it all sort of come together. And uh, my word, when it comes together, it looks good, doesn't it? Um, phenomenal uh, performance. And uh, I'll tell you what, they're going to have a day off tomorrow, a well-deserved day off before they then wake up on Saturday and have a chance to play at the, at, at, for a medal on on, on, on Saturday. Um, we all thought we were going to go to the opening ceremony as you know guests of, uh, of, of an Olympics where they'd really basically be leaving. Uh, not the case. Not the case. And uh, I was, oh, I'm kind of running out of words to say this. Maybe I'm, I'm waffling. I'm probably am waffling a little bit. I'm just a little bit uh, shocked. To, to be perfectly honest about uh, that, because we, I mean, yeah, we had no rights to be in the semi-final, and yet that is where we are. What do you think of the game? Let me know down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.